Maybe just build on what Lian Ting was just talking about, this rebound that we're seeing in China. Can it continue to build, or is this all just sort of short covering? Right. Um, I think in terms of the um, market, although of course we have seen lots of the uh, headwind in terms of the economic growth um, so far this year. But incrementally, when we look into the earnings um, variation, we start to see some uh, positive earnings variation in particular some kind of sectors. So I think that's already marks a quite a decent kind of potential recovery on the market. In particular, when we see uh, some potential kind of uh, PPI, CPI kind of trend, uh, it's we we'll probably will see some kind of potential um, changes in terms of the cost inflation, in particular uh, facing the kind of Chinese enterprises. So we might be able to see a imp improving kind of operating environment for a second half in for some of the um, you know some of the sectors in in particular uh, industrial, some of even some of the consumer stables. Um, there could be some potential kind of improvement in terms of the margin front. So that will sell a, uh, provide a good, a good setup. Uh, for the market um, to recover gradually uh, from from now onward. Yeah. Okay, and we're, we have a very colorful chart that we're about to play out here. It, it looks a bit confusing, but really all you need to look at is is those blue bars out there, which basically you look at sector by sector uh, in China mm -hmm. this year. There's only one sector that actually mm -hmm. has been outperforming, and the only one standing, which is energy. Does yeah. that continue to be the case? Or as you say, it's ready to kind of pick out mm -hmm. some of these kind of bargains uh, in other, other places? Yeah, I would imagine we could probably see some potential kind of reversal for some of the performance in sectors like, um, in particular, those being hard to hit uh, by this kind of strong pickup in energy costs. And when we look into like 3Q, 4Q, uh, we do see a kind of good potential for some of the midstream sectors um, to pick up in terms of performance. So say, for example, as I mentioned, uh, industrial and consumer stable, some of the names are uh, either from a, a softening kind of input cost, uh, which we expect going into like 3Q, 4Q. And we do see some of these kind of, um, you know, um, companies, um, they have shown a strong level of resilience in in protecting the margins um, during the very difficult time. So when we see, when we start to see some kind of softening in terms of input costs into 3Q, 4Q, they may be able to prove themselves to achieve a better margin. So that would be a good support, um, you know, to the overperformance uh, and entry into second half. On the other hand, downstream um, sectors like consumer discretionary, we might consider a little bit more headwind uh, as we need to mm -hmm. see a strong pickup in overall consumer demand before we start to see a, a good pickup in terms of top line. So back to your question, uh, we do expect there could be some uh, good chance for the reversal of the sector performance getting into the second half uh, this year. Mm -hmm. We were just talking to Lanting about that weaker RMB, how it has a pretty strong correlation with how the performance of MSCI China does. How big of a concern is, is mm -hmm. the weaker currency to you? Uh, well, we do look at it's like the impact on the you know underlying profit for uh, for the names that we own. Of course, uh, for those names that focus very much on the domestic market, uh, the currency weakness is going to be translated into like the valuation uh, you know impact rather than the underlying performance. So when we look into it, mm. uh, we do have some uh, kind of uh, allocation. Uh, based on our currency outlook in terms of the on the asset allocation front. But when we look into the equity side, we do focus more on the kind of, um, you know, the real fundamental earnings of individual companies. And, and we're just about a month and a few days away from, from the party Congress, Lillian. Mm -hmm. I have to ask you, Hannah, how you're, you're positioning ahead of that. And should I assume that investing conditions actually improve materially after this big event? Mm -hmm. Why or why not? Um, I think we... To, we, we get into a very kind of low investor kind of expectation on lots of things uh, when we enter into like uh, over last month or so. Uh, I thought I, when I when look into the investor sentiment, there's lots of wishful kind of expectation that there will be some potential realization about the zero COVID policy um, after that. Mm. Uh, however, if we look at the actual kind of um, you know stock market performance, uh, I would say the investor kind of conviction remain actually pretty low. So if there's mm. any kind of uh, potential or real kind of relaxation, we do see that would be translated into a decent kind of good surprise to the market. Yeah, investor expectations are right. quite low at the moment. Mm.